takes over for Matt Dermody, who recorded just one out. He's been the long man since he's been back up and off the disabled list. Uh, this is his 11th game of the season. He's 0-3 with a 549 earned run average. Mike's last game was also in that Valdez game that we were talking about that Dermody came in and won his first big league game. Mike pitched two in the third inning that day against the Angels. Yuli Gurriel. He has hit a two run home run, has an RBI single. He's two for two with three ribbies. Seven to two, Astros. Reddick is at first base. Bolsinger was reinstated from the DL on the 29th of July. He was placed on the disabled list with left knee inflammation. Third ball for a strike. That's his best pitch right there. That slow curve ball. It's got some bite to it. We're gonna have to mix it up against the Astros. This is a free swinging team. They don't strike out a lot. Houston has a very good offensive approach. They lead the majors in runs, hits, and home runs in the season. And now, Bolsinger walks the first man he faced, Gurriel. They're the only team with 600 RBIs and at least 600 runs scored. 630 runs coming into this game in the major leagues. The only one. And it's not just that, they can do everything. Average 290 as a team. First in the American League, first in runs per game, home runs, on base, plus slugging. Of course, they got the few, the, the the best record. They also have the fewest strikeouts. Most home runs, fewest strikeouts. That doesn't happen very often. Very well disciplined hitters at the plate. This is Marwin Gonzalez. He's grounded out twice so far in this game. We mentioned teams to lead the major leagues in runs, hits, and home runs in a season, and it's a very elite class. From the time the division era started in 1969, there have been five clubs that have led the league in those categories. And they're historic clubs by many majors. The Cincinnati Reds, a big red machine, they led the majors in runs, hits, and home runs in a season. 78 Milwaukee Brewers, the 94 and 95 Cleveland Indians. They were both very good clubs. That 78 Milwaukee Brewers team finished third in the American League East. There's another one deep to right. Batiste is back. This one's going to go. Marlon Gomez. A three run home run. His 20th of the season. And the Astros have come out swinging in this series so far. They push 19 across against the Blue Jays the last time they saw them. And they haven't stopped. That was the last time this team saw the Astros right before the All-Star break. July the 9th, they had a five-run inning, a three-run inning, a four-run inning, and a six-run inning to put up 19 against the Jays. Well, there's Beltran jumps on the first pitch and that bounces past Carrera into center field. Beltran will head for third. Nope, he throws the brakes on and stops at second. Beltran jumped on the first pitch. That's his second hit of the inning. And that's why we show you those numbers. This team can hit. Carrera is going to try and make a circus catch, but comes nowhere near catching it or even knocking it down. Bautista's got to back him up. That will go as a double. Brian McCann, he walked this in. He scored the fifth run of the night. It is now 10 to 2, Houston. It's 
So that closes the book on Matt Dermody. He is charged with two runs on two hits in just a third of an inning. One and two to Brian McCann. This is a team that have been struggling offensively the last few games. They've been playing Tampa with a great pitching staff and lost three games in that series. The Astros scored 14 runs in game one of that four game series against Tampa Bay and then scored just seven runs over the next three. And they lost all three of those and they were shut out. Undifferential this season. That shows you why they're 30 games over 500. They score a lot of runs. And they prevent a lot of runs, and that's what leads to that 161 run differential. Uh, Peacock has been sitting around a long time. This has been a long inning. Brent Peacock was the starting pitcher for Houston in that game at Rogers Center when they scored 19 runs. McCann pulls it foul. He pitched six innings in that game simply because they had such a big lead. Well, the Blue Jays got right back in it thanks to the two run home run by Kendrick Morales. It was a 3 2 game at the start of this inning. And the Astros have scored seven runs in the bottom of the fourth. McCann fouls it up. Most runs in an inning for this team this year. Eleven. They did that against Minnesota back in May. They did it in the eighth inning. They put a seven spot on the board tonight. Seven runs on six hits, two walks in the inning. McCann takes the third walk of the inning. He has walked twice in this inning. Pete Walker again out of the Blue Jays dugout. Jays pitchers have walked four already in this game, or just in the fourth inning. What do you say here? You got to be aggressive. You got to throw strikes. That's you what cannot I think. pitch defensively to these Astros. One, two, three walks in the inning. You know, probably the message is, hey, I'd rather see them hit their way on than walk their way on. Use your fastball. Over his last four games prior to this game, Mike Bolsinger has allowed nine earned runs in 14 and two thirds. He's on the hook for two runs and these two base runners on base now. This is Tyler White. White started the inning with an RBI double. He started the scoring as he drove in Beltran from second with a double. As another base hit. Beltran's around third. He's going to score. Tyler White is two for two in this inning with two RBI. They, they lead the major leagues in all of those categories, and they're showing you why. They hit strikes when you throw it in there, they're not missing it. They use the whole field too. You know, when you watch their hitters, they're not just pole hitters. They can use the whole field, and that's what good hitters can do. Jake Marisnik fouls it into the seats. Marisnik is 0 for 2. Everybody has scored a run now for the Astros except Marisnik. 
think about that. Everybody, eight men have scored a run already in this game, and we're in the fourth. Some have scored two. Beltran scored twice in this inning. McCann's at second, White's at first. Eight runs in this inning on seven hits. There have also been three walks. This is a pitching coach's nightmare. Nightmare. It's not just the Blue Jays. The Astros have been doing this to everybody this season. There's another base hit. McCann's being waved around third. And he'll come in to score. Marisnik has his first hit of the night. At this point, you just hope that someone hit the ball at somebody and make it out. Breaking ball up, and Marisnik has his first hit. This is the 14th batter to face come to the plate this inning for the Astros. Derek Fisher and a ground out RBI. Off of Matt Dermody. Dermody's first batter. There's a strike. Two balls and a strike. It's 12 to Houston. The Astros have scored nine runs here in the bottom of the fourth. Derek Fisher is the 14th batter to come to the plate this inning. Three and one. Getting a little antsy to get back out there. That's Brad Peacock. It's been a 30 minute inning. He wants to get out there, stay loose. Needs one more inning to qualify. Another walk. Bolsinger walks Fisher. It's the fourth walk of the inning. They've got Aaron Loop up. Keep Walker's on the, the phone to make sure he's loose. He's been up now for a hitter or two, so he should be getting close. It looked like they just got the thumbs up that he's ready. Alex Bregman is the batter. He had a two run home run to right. And his last at bat. Bases are loaded. Pierce's back. This ball is caught by Steve Pierce to end the inning. Bregman hit it to the wall in left center. But the Astros send 15 men to the plate. They score nine runs on eight hits and blow the game wide open. Now time for a Blue Jays Central update. Here's Hazel May with Craig Zahn from the Samsung Broadcast Studio.